In this video, I'll be demonstrating how Metasploit's auto pwn feature can be used to quickly compromise an unpatched computer and use the information gathered to perform a pass the hash attack on a fully patched computer. The demonstration network consists of three computers, a Linux computer run in Metasploit that will be performing the attack, a Windows XP machine with Service Pack 2, and a Windows XP machine that's fully patched. The pass the hash attack uses a special patched version of Samba and requires that an identical account exist on both the compromised computer and the fully patched computer. I'll start by assuming that the attacker has already scanned the network and located the target unpatched XP computer. Using Metasploit's auto pwn feature, I can quickly compromise this machine. The dbn map command scans the host for listening services and adds them to the database. Next, the db auto pwn command will attempt all of the Metasploit exploits that exist for the services that are listening on the unpatched computer. On my virtual machine, this takes a while to execute, so I'm going to skip forward to the completion of the auto pwn command. The auto pwn command is completed, and this machine is compromised. Auto pwn has started two interpreter sessions, and I'm going to connect to the first session. You can see that I'm running this session with system level privileges. That's the highest privileges on a Windows computer. Next, I dump the password hash. Normally, an attacker would use a brute force method or rainbow tables to attempt to crack this password. But in this case, I don't need to know the password, as I'm going to use the patched version of SMB mount to mount the remote share using only the password hash. SMB mount will prompt for a password. The password is ignored, and the SMB hash environment variable is used in its place. And here you can see I have successfully mounted the C drive of the fully patched computer by using the password hash taken from the compromised computer. It's also worth noting that this version of Samba will let you create and modify accounts using password hashes. Well that concludes the demonstration of a pass the hash attack. You can find the link to the pass the hash patches in the video description. Thanks for watching.